third grade math, lesson 9.4. Now we're going to compare fractions using the knowledge that we have learned in the last few lessons. You need to have watched video 9.2 where we learned about comparing fractions with the same denominator and video 9.3, the one right before this one, when we learned how to compare fractions with the same numerator. If you watch these videos first, It'll help you completely understand this lesson. They're linked in the description. To compare fractions, we can use the strategies, use missing pieces, the same numerator, which we learned in video 9.3, or the same denominator, which we learned in video 9.2. To use the missing pieces strategy, we compare pieces missing from a whole. Here we have two-thirds of a circle. And here we have two-fourths of a circle. This circle is missing more, so the fraction is smaller. This is missing a smaller portion. That's a larger fraction. Two-thirds is greater than two-fourths. We compare how much is missing, and the one that's missing less is the greater fraction. The one that's missing more is the smaller fraction. We can use the missing pieces strategy when the numerators or denominators are not the same. Emma and Sanjay are eating the same size small pizzas. Emma's plate has four sixths of a pizza. Sanjay's plate has seven eighths of a pizza. We can compare four six to seven eighths using the missing pieces strategy. We have one, two, three, four, one, six pieces, and here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one eighth pieces. We can see that this is missing less. This one's missing more pizza, isn't it? So this is going to be the greater fraction. Four six is less than seven eighths because four six is missing a bigger amount. Seven eighths is not missing as much. So 4 sixths is less. Let's try it again. Here we're comparing 3 fourths and 2 thirds. We have 3 1 fourth pieces. Here we have 2 1 third pieces. We can see that this pizza is missing less, isn't it? This is missing more. There's a bigger piece missing. So we know that 3 fourths is greater than 2 thirds because it's not missing as much from the whole thing. Unit fractions can also help us. Knowing 1 eighth is less than 1 6 will help us compare 7 eighths and 5 6. We know the numerators are the same, so we look to the denominator, and when the denominators are different sizes, we look to the one with the smaller number, the lower number, and that's the greater fraction. 6 is smaller, it's lower than 8, so we know 1 eighth is less than 1 6. We have eighths and sixths in these fractions that we're comparing. 7 eighths has a 1 eighth piece missing, it's a little piece, it's missing less. 5 6 has a 1 6 piece missing, it's missing more. Take a look at the fraction bars here. Here's one hole in the red, and these are little one-eighth pieces. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven one-eighth pieces, and it's missing this little part right here from keeping it from being a hole. For the one-sixth pieces, we have one, two, three, four, five of them. It's missing this bigger piece that's keeping it from being a hole. So it's missing more. It's smaller. So we can use the missing pieces strategy when the numerators or denominators are not the same. And unit fractions have a 1 for a numerator, don't they? So 7 eighths is greater than 5 6 because it's not missing as much. It's missing a smaller piece. We can use the same denominator strategy to compare fractions. We learned that in video 9.2. We want to compare 2 fourths and 3 fourths. When the denominators are the same, they both have a 4 for a denominator, we can compare their numerators. We have a numerator that's a 2 and a numerator that's a 3. We know 2 is less than 3, 
that tells us that two-fourths is less than three-fourths. Here we've got seven-tenths and five-tenths. They have the same denominator. When the denominators are the same, we can compare their numerators. We have a seven and a five. We know seven is greater than five, so we know seven-tenths is greater than five-tenths. And we can use the same numerator strategy to compare fractions. We learned that in video 9.3, the one right before this one. We want to compare two-fifths and two-ninths. When the numerators are the same, they both have a two for a numerator, the fraction with the lower denominator is greater. This has got a five, this has got a nine, five is lower, so this is the greater fraction. We know two-fifths is greater than two-ninths. Here we have four-tenths and four-fifths. We want to compare these. They have the same numerator, so we're going to use the denominator. The denominator is with the lower number. The whole is divided into bigger pieces. So here, this is divided into ten pieces. This is divided into five pieces. And we have four of the ten pieces. Here we have four of the five pieces. That's almost the whole thing, isn't it? It's almost five-fifths. Here's a one-fifth piece. Here's a one-tenth piece. This is much smaller. So when we have four one-fifth pieces, we have this much. It's almost one whole. When we have four one-tenth pieces, we only have this much. It's much smaller than four-fifths. We know four-tenths is less than four-fifths. It helped us to know that one-fifth as a unit fraction is a lot more than one-tenth as a unit fraction. Which strategy can we use to compare these fractions? We need to draw a line to match them. We want to compare three-thirds and two-thirds. Would we use missing pieces? The same numerator? The same denominator? Well, they do have the same denominator, so we could connect those together because that would work. Could we use another strategy to compare these? We have three-thirds and two-thirds. We actually could use missing pieces. This is missing a third, isn't it? So it's missing more than this one. So three-thirds is greater, and we can use missing pieces for that one. What about five-sixths and seven-eighths? Can we, it doesn't have the same numerator, and it doesn't have the same denominator, so this must be use missing pieces. We can compare a circle that has five sixths and a circle that has seven eighths. An eighth is a smaller piece, so that means this is missing less, so it's more. So we could use missing pieces on that one. What about three sevenths and three fourths? Look, they have the same numerator, don't they? So we could use the same numerator strategy. They have the same numerator. That means we're going to compare denominators. This has a lower denominator, so this one is greater. Three-sevenths is less than three-fourths. We can also use missing pieces on this one. We can have a circle with three-sevenths of its pieces and a circle with three-fourths of its pieces, and we can compare which one has more missing pieces and three-sevenths would have more missing pieces. We only have three of the seven pieces. So we could use missing pieces for this one, too. So we can use the missing pieces strategy, really, to compare any type of fraction, couldn't we? When they have the same numerator, we can just compare their denominators. And when they have the same denominator, we can compare their numerators. We can use these strategies to compare fractions greater than one. Those are also called improper fractions. We learned about those in video 8.6. If you don't remember, there'll be a link in the description for you. Fractions greater than one have a numerator that is larger than its denominator. These have the same denominator, so we can compare numerators. We have three 
as a denominator in both fractions, so we look at the 4 and the 5, and we know 4 is less than 5. That tells us that 4 thirds is less than 5 thirds. Here we need to compare 8 fourths and 8 sixths. These are improper fractions because the numerators are larger than the denominators. They have the same numerator, so we can compare the denominators. We have a 4 and a 6. We know 4 is less than 6. The fraction with the lower denominator is a greater fraction because the whole thing is split into bigger pieces. This is split into 4 pieces. This is split into 6 pieces. That means 8 fourths will be greater than 8 sixths. Do you see how when they had the same denominator and we compared the numerators, this less than symbol was the same as this less than symbol comparing the fractions, but when they had the same numerator, we used the opposite sign because 4 is less than 6, that meant 8 fourths was greater than 8 sixths. See that? If a whole is divided into four pieces, like this circle is, and we have eight pieces, that means we have two whole circles. We have this improper fraction, eight fourths. It's split into four pieces, but we have eight of them. That means we could take those eight pieces and make two whole circles. Eight fourths is equal to two, or two whole. We're going to learn more about this when we get to video 9.7. We'll be talking about equivalent fractions in that lesson. So, to compare fractions, we can use missing pieces and compare how big the pieces are that are missing. We can use the same numerator strategy to compare their denominators. We can use the same denominator strategy to compare their numerators. I hope you're doing well. Keep working on your eight facts for the times table, when we get to the end of chapter 9, you should have them all memorized very nicely. Have a wonderful day. Bye.